Here is an up-to-date Fire Stick tutorial for you guys to follow today, that if you follow the directions correctly, you'll be able to watch pretty much anything you want. So with that being said, my name is David, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, we are ready to get started. I'm right here on my Fire Sticks homepage. The first thing we gotta do is, from the home screen, just go all the way to the right, to this section right here, where the settings are. Go down. Go into the category called My Fire TV. Then click About. Now this first option here will be different for everybody depending on what Fire Stick you have. It'll just have a different name. But what you want to do is click OK on it eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the bottom, it'll say no need, you are already a developer. That means you enabled the developer options and that's the secret way that you have to do it now. Um, if you click the back button, you'll now see developer options here. Um, but for now, we'll press the home button. And what we're gonna do now is go to the search right here and then go down, press okay to open up the keyboard. And we're gonna type in downloader. Most of the time you just type a few letters, it'll start recommending it down here already. So you can either fully type it or click on that suggestion that pops up. But this is the app we need, this orange one here called Downloader. So I clicked on it and now you'll have the button here to download. So you just press OK. So once that download button turns into an open button instead, uh, we don't have to open it yet. We're just going to press the home button again. OK, so now before we do anything, we're going to go to the search again, go down. And we're going to type in IP Vanish. This is going to be our VPN and ad blocker. I've been using them for like seven years now and it's perfect. So we're going to download the app. So I just clicked on that one and click download. I just got to wait for it to install. And when it's finished, you can click open. And I know a lot of you guys are familiar with this. This has been around for so long. So if you have your account already, you could just sign in. If you don't have your account yet, you can get one in the description of this video, in the comments section. And also, if you're not watching this on your phone, you could actually use your camera's app on your phone to scan this QR code I'll put up on the screen. And it'll all bring you to the same place where you could make your account, get your login information. When you do sign up with them, they'll send you an email. And then through that email, you'll set up and fully activate your account. Then after that, you're good to go. You'll actually be able to use that account for all of your devices. Even if you have five Fire Sticks or a hundred, you can use this one account for all of them and it'll be a VPN and it has an ad blocker feature. Between those two things, it makes it perfect for this. So if you don't know, the VPN keeps you anonymous from your internet provider as well as from the apps you use. And then the ad blocker is gonna get rid of annoying pop-ups and all sorts of things like that. So I'm just gonna log into my account, you guys log into yours and then we'll pick up from there. Okay, I'm all logged in right now, and you'll see there's this big green connect button in the center here. Um, before you click that, you're gonna wanna click right on your remote control to go over to the settings menu here, and press okay on that. And if you scroll down, you're looking for this feature right here called threat protection. That's gonna be your ad blocker. As you can see, it says block ads, trackers, and malicious websites when the VPN is connected. So go ahead and turn that on. Once you do, you could press back, and then press the left arrow to get back up to the connect button. And now you can click connect. So after you connect, you can press the home button and that will continue to run in the background and keep you connected to the VPN. And you really don't even have to think about it. So our next step right now is to go into the settings menu again, all the way here on the right, go down, go to my fire TV, then go to developer options then install unknown apps and that app downloader that we got before will be here and you can just click on it to turn it on and then we can go to the home page once again and we got to go to our apps which is this button right here the three squares and the plus and press ok on that and scroll down i'll move my camera out the way so you'll see downloader and our vpn is over here we're going to open up downloader so click downloader and when you first launch it, you get this little message here. You can press OK. And you'll see right away you're highlighting the button that says Go in the center. 
So just press up on the remote to go to the section where you could type and then press OK to bring up the keyboard. I'll put what we have to type on the screen here. So you can go ahead and pause it and type it in, but it's going to be B I T dot L Y. And then we're going to go into the symbols and do a slash. And then we're going to do the word download. And then the letters A, P, K, and then the word time, T, I, M, E. Okay, so that's all we have to type. Go ahead and take your time. Like I said, you can pause the video. When you're done, just go ahead and go down and click on the go button in the bottom right. And it should automatically start downloading. And it'll lead you to this where you could press right on your remote so that you're highlighting the install button. Then press OK. Now, you don't want to click open yet. You're going to press left and click done. Then this screen will be here and you can click on delete and then delete again. Now we can go to our home page. And we go back to the apps menu over here, the three squares and plus once again. Open that up and you'll see our new app store that we just downloaded is right here. This little fire logo with a alarm clock um, we can just click ok to open it so we have to open it at least once to do this next step um, so before we look around inside of it we have to go back to the home page then all the way to the right to the settings we're going to do the same thing we did with downloader so we're going to go to the my fire tv category again then go to developer options and then install unknown apps and now you'll see APK time will be here as well. And you can click on it to turn it on. Now we're actually getting somewhere. So we're going to go back. Now we're going to actually go into the APK time app, which is in this app menu here. So open that up again. Scroll down. Here it is. You can just press OK to open it. Now there's a lot of stuff on here. Some of it's junk. Some of it's really good. I'm going to show you what's actually worthwhile. So we're going to go up and we're going to be highlighting that magnifying glass in the top right so that we could search something. Press OK. And the first thing we're going to do is search this. I'm not even going to say it because YouTube is weird about this type of stuff. So we're just going to type that. I'll show you some other ones in a bit, but right now this is the best one. So there's a download button in the bottom right. You can click OK. Then this message will appear. You can click allow. Now you wait for it to download. Should only take a little bit. Now we get something like this up here again where we can click right and then highlight the install button and press OK. Now we wait for it to install. And again, we're not going to open it yet. We're just going to click done. Now you do have that app now, but we're going to go back to the home screen of the APK Time Store and we're going to go back to the search in the top right. And I'm just going to show you another option in case that one ever stops working. So this is the next one we're going to search up. Just read what I wrote there. And once again, we have this download button here. I'm gonna download it, install. And in order for this one to work specifically, it needs an extra thing, which I'll show you how to get. So we're gonna click done. We're gonna click the back button, go to the search again. And this time we're gonna type this in and click next. And it's the one that looks like this. Make sure it says the 32 bit in the title there because there's another one that says 64 and that one doesn't really work for fire sticks so once again we'll click download you guys are probably familiar with this process now we'll click install we'll click done and now i'm going to press the home button because we're pretty much there but we're going to do one last thing we're going to go to this app menu here we're going to go to the bottom and the ones we actually like and use, what we're going to do is press the button on your remote control. That's like three horizontal lines and that'll bring up these options here. So what you're going to do is press move to front. So I'm going to do that for the VPN and I'm going to do it for the apps that we just downloaded. All right, the reason we're doing that is because now when I'm on my homepage, 
they'll actually be right here in this little center row. It makes it a lot easier to access. So long as you have your VPN turned on with this IP Vanish app, you can then open any of these apps that you downloaded. And I can't really demonstrate them in the video, but when you do open them for the first time, there's gonna be a few things that pop up telling you to press okay. And it'll ask to allow storage permissions, which you can press allow. And uh, it might bring you to your settings menu and it'll look like this. And you see where it says storage and it says deny, you'll have to click that and then click all files. That will make it so you're actually set up and ready to go. Now, every time you launch that app, you shouldn't have to do anything else. And when you're in those apps, if you go to the top left corner, that's where you're gonna be able to switch between TV shows and movies, and you'll be able to browse whatever you want. And a quick tip, if something's too new in movie theaters or just not out yet, clearly there's not gonna be any streams available, um, but sometimes it'll show them anyway. So that might get a little confusing. If you just look at the release date of the movie, it's usually listed on there you'll kind of get an understanding of whether or not you're going to be able to watch it or not. Okay, so we're finally good to go. You're all set up. Hopefully everything went smoothly for you. Hopefully everything was easy to understand. If there's ever any updates or small little changes, I'll try to update the uh, pinned comment on this video with some notes or tips for you guys. But that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.